Let us learn how to edit a community in DSpace. We will cover various options available within Edit Community section. Login using your credentials. And, go to the Edit option under the Management Console appearing on the left-hand side. Click on the Community link. You will notice a prompt showing Communities and Subcommunities list. Users can enter the first few letters of Community in the text field. Or simply click on the Community name, as demonstrated in this video. Edit Community section has subfunctions like Edit Metadata, Assign Roles, Curate, and Authorizations. Let us understand the Edit Metadata tab first. Click the Delete button, appearing next to the logo to remove the existing community logo. Let us understand the rest of the options. Update community title in the name field. Users can update community profiles by modifying the remaining fields. Click on the Save button to save changes. The user will be redirected to the community homepage. Click on the Edit button on the community homepage to resume community editing. Click on the Assign tab to create a community administrator group. Click on the Create button, and a community administrator group will be added. Click on the Community Administrator group, and add individual users or user groups as community administrators. Enter few letters of the username in the search field, and click on Search. Or click on the Browse All button to select users from the Users list. Click the Add button next to the username, to add the user as a community administrator. Like individual users, Click on the Browse All button in the Group section to add a Community Administrator user group. Select Target Group by pressing Add button next to it. That was the Community Administration Management. Let us go back to the Edit Community page to understand policy creation under the Authorization tab. Like DSpace 6, users can create policies related to community access rights in this section. Create on the Add button to add a sample policy. Enter policy name, brief description, select policy type, and access privileges from the drop down list. As demonstrated in this video, if required, users can also select start and end dates for these policies. Finally, select individual users or groups by clicking on the respective links as highlighted. We will continue with individual user selection in this demonstration. Click on the Save button to generate the policy. Users will be redirected to the Authorizations tab, where successfully generated policy will be listed. Click on the checkbox before the policy, and click on the Delete button to delete the policy. We learned Community Profile Editing, Assigning Community Administrators, and Access Rights Policy Creation in this video. We are listening. Please reach us, and we will be happy to assist you.